Mal, how do you sum that up? It was one, it was a great game, and you obviously yeah. got home. Did it come from behind? <laughs> oh, good question. <laughs> um, really happy, you know, really happy for the boys. Um, real test match, you know. So um, we haven't had a real test match for a number of years. So um, we're going to be obviously better for the experience, but you know, really pleased with the effort and the commitment and all those characteristics you want in, you want in your players in a, in a footy team and. Uh, I think we both teams displayed that tonight. I felt, and um, both teams wanted to win. Um, <coughs> and you know, I think you know, we did a little bit better than what they did. When you say a real test match, it's because they tested you. <coughs> well, that's a test match footy, you know. So you know, I've been involved for a long, long time, and it's a different game. You know, it's um, sometimes you know you, you don't get what you you want and with, with um, the way you play. It's a bit clunky at times. Ball goes to the ground, but penalties against you and all that sort of stuff. But you just keep have to keep on hanging in there because um, you know you, you need to do that to, to win the footy game. So um, I just felt that in my experience, that you know, was you know, one of the best test matches I've been involved with. Is that the kind of game that you needed heading into a final? Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I think uh, we can be better because of that. Um, we we'll learn from that, obviously, but. I just said to the players, you know, that that's what, you know, playing for us, you know, your country, um, you know, produces, you know, games like that where, you know, you've got to find that little, little extra, you know, in, in your, the way you play or effort levels that, you know, get you, get you a victory. And it might, it doesn't look pretty sometimes, you know, it's, it is a little scrambling defence or, you know, a dive on the ball or a big hit, you know, that makes a difference to your footy side. Yeah, you were pretty ferocious pace out there. Is that as physical a game as you played? Yeah, definitely. It was um, sort of had a, an origin feel, obviously not as fast, but just that end to end footy. Um, you know, we've had to dig deep for 80 minutes, so if that was 80 minute game, we have, have, we've sort of had comfortable wins up, up until this game. So, yeah, as Mal said, that's a, that's a test match. We had to dig deep for it, and um, yeah, really, really proud of the boys there. It's the way we dug in there, especially that second half. Probably, probably didn't start how we wanted to. Um, discipline and errors, but yeah, the way we fought back and uh, worked for each other in the second half was, was really pleasing. Can you lead a team into a World Cup final? How does that make you feel? Yeah, it's, it's exciting. Obviously, just want to you know, get our recovery in and, and soak up, enjoy this win tonight. But yeah, we'll have a week's preparation just to recover and get ready for next week. Watch the game with, with a lot of interest tomorrow and see who we're going to play next week. But um, yeah, so we'll probably learn a lot from from this game. We as I said, we dug deep, but we definitely could have been better in, in some areas, so we'll, we'll take those lessons and uh, be ready for another tough challenge next week. How do you see that game going tomorrow? Um, oh, obviously, they, they paid each other in the first game and Samoa went, went up to their best, so I know they're going to come out and have a point to prove tomorrow, but England have been playing some really good footy, so I think England will be tough to beat, but I know Samoa are going to come out fine and have a, have a point to prove for sure. What was that atmosphere like? I mean, I feel like... The, people, the, the locals maybe siding with New Zealand. Did you get a sense of <laughs> that? Yeah, a shock, that. Yeah. A shock horror. <laughs> yeah, we felt that. We've, we're sort of used to that over here. We know everyone's going to be against us. So, um, yeah, I'm sure we'll, and next week as well, we'll reverse them. They'll, they'll be <coughs> against us. So we'll soak that up. We, we expect that. Liam or Teddy, what do you put the, the start down to? Because you would have been expecting them to come out the way they did. The, slow st the, you know, the, the quick start <laughs> from them. Yeah, we knew, that obviously, I think they probably weren't happy with their performance last week against Fiji, and we knew that they'd come out firing, very passionate, obviously, um, that first 15, 20, and, and, they, and they did that. We sort of had to weather the storm a bit, but we, we let them in, you know, with a couple of, couple of errors, and our discipline wasn't great, so um, I think it'll be similar next week. It, 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 you know, the start of the games was so uh, passionate, and, um, yeah, we just got to sort of weather that a bit, and uh, we, we spoke about that most of our camp. We just work hard. We work hard for each other. A lot of our guys and team play 80 minutes, and um, yeah, we've done that tonight. We worked hard for 80 minutes, and we got the win. Take us through that the, the whole haka. That was pretty like it looked intimidating for us. They were <laughs> in your faces, literally. Yeah, it was cool. Cool. <laughs> that's um, we knew we knew that's, that's a Kiwis are very passionate. And that's what that's what fires them up for games. Doing that that 
in that huck up with a lot of passion. So, yeah, we just soak that up and get ready to play footy. Now, can I ask you about Cameron Murray? He sort of instigated that all-in brawl, seemed to rep the team up a bit, and then that try in that second half. What do you make of, of his leadership tonight? Um, I thought a all our bench were quite quite good tonight. I think they lifted the tempo and um, they played play the ball speed and you know off the back of that Harry was you know, very good as well and allowed us to play a bit of footy. Um, you know, Cameron's a great player and um, he's played his role in the footy team you know, to the best of his ability and um, it's as seen by the, the Troy score, you know, so um, really happy with, with, with Cam and how the bench played tonight. Mel, it's been part of Australian team's DNA for the last 35 years <coughs> to win in time situations, particularly over here. Was it gratifying to see that tonight? From, from this absolutely, group? yeah, absolutely. And, and as Teddy mentioned before, you know, we we understand, you know, where we sit, um, you know, in the in the pecking order, and uh, we understand the way we need to play, you know, um, and um, and I think we've handled it really well, you know. As we said, it, as we said at half time, we can't, we're not going to play victim to anything, you know. We'll make sure that we just get on with it and and, and uh, play the, the the style we want to play. And um, I thought. You know, tonight, um, I think everything was okay at halftime, even though we were behind. But you know, we just kept on believing in what we we're doing, and and um, eventually that that does work for us. And that's what you know, my experience tells us that you know, if you just keep focused and keep on doing the things you want to do, and um, you want to play the field position game, like which it was a grind tonight, and they played it really well as well. You know, so we just had to had to outwork them and, and get to get into a position where we could score points. Lee, we saw you and James Fisher Harris. <laughs> going at it a little bit, you were pretty possessed in the second second half. Did you, and then you went after him just after that. Can you tell us what was said and you know how enjoyable that experience was going to James? Yeah, yeah, yeah I loved playing against Fish. Um, <laughs> obviously, yeah, I looked up to him a fair bit at Panthers, and coming up against him, I knew it was going to be um, a real test, and sort of just wanted to take it to him, and he enjoyed that as well. So um, yeah, it was good out there. What were you saying to each other? Uh, nah, nothing, nothing too serious, just. We were mostly laughing more than anything, so it wasn't too bad. <laughs> well, I know it's hard to give yourself a, a rap, but um, how proud are you of your own performance tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, just try to, do my, <laughs> try to do my job for the team, and uh, yeah, I feel like I did that. You did it very well. Can you talk about it very well? Someone mentioned that a couple of tackles or a big, big hit by Liam. Well, I mean, he's played terrific footy over here, you know, so. Um, that's why he's in the in the test team, you know. So he does make a difference. He makes great contributions to our team, and as you know, he's obviously humble with things. But um, that's what he that's what he provides, and um, he's he's playing, you know, uh, really happy with uh, his performance. So uh, not only tonight, but you know, through the through the whole tournament. Now, speaking of humble, has uh, Fox <coughs> told you about his try scoring efforts out there? His record <laughs> it was fantastic, wasn't it? It was unbelievable. Um, What's that, mate? I think that equals yeah. most. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I've uh, got another opportunity for him. Yeah, you that, that the try that um, Josh scored, you know, hung Ben's kick, well, like, what was, was that, like, is that something you've practiced? Is that just something no. that you've called, or? <laughs> no, it's just what Foxy can do. Um, it was just a kick to the corner, and <coughs> Foxy's speed puts him in possession, positions that not many other players can be in, so... Um, no, there's nothing real plan. I was just kicked to the corners and, and Foxy was, was in the right spot at the right time, obviously with his speed, so it worked out well. He probably no, saved one too, sorry, with um with um uh, Peter Hiku there yeah, as well. Yeah. Oh well, he's playing good footy. You know, loves loves being part of the team. We love him being part of the team and He's doing everything right at the moment, so yeah, really happy for him. Well, you're giving everyone a rap, Jack White, and he made it yeah, like a man of the best at the start. Well, we had to be at our best, you know. So we had to be our best tonight to, you know, we, and as Teddy said, you know, there's a few, there's a bit of improvement, but New Zealand didn't really allow us to, to, at times to, you know, do what we want to do, you know, so, you know, full marks to them. So we're certainly improvement, but really happy with everyone, really, the, the effort, because you, you needed to, everyone needed to be committed, everyone needed to, you know, um, as I keep saying, need to come up with some special efforts um, through, the, through the game for us to be in a position we are. Now we're figuring out Billy the attack is a little clunky. Can you sort of assess your halves and? I thought they were very good tonight. How they play? Really? I thought they were ex extremely good. And um, you know, and I thought our kicking game um, has been the best on, best it has been throughout the, the tournament. I reckon. So uh, really happy um, for the way they they performed. Um, you know, we, we gave we, we weren't. 
good when we're down there. You know, we made a few errors, we gave away a few penalties, a few six agains and things like that we can improve in. But, you know, I mean, that's rugby league too. So if you expect those sort of things to happen, I thought we handled it really well when it did happen. Is that combination still a work in progress a little bit? I mean, I haven't played a few games together. Oh, yeah. It's, it's good. I'm, very happy. I'm happy with it. Now, you said yesterday was your best 17. Does that 17 go into next week? Yeah. No chance. All the selection bells are over. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, a couple bit of push and shove out there tonight. Is it hard to find that line between sticking up for your mates and not getting yourself rubbed out of a World Cup final? Oh, yeah, like obviously I'll have my teammates back, but yeah, I won't take it too far. I couldn't, couldn't fight the same myself, so uh, I won't be doing anything, <laughs> anything too serious. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, thanks. Is it any injuries? No, no, everything's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.